Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about XRP. XRP had a pretty nice three-wave corrective rally into our resistance area that we defined. If you're interested in checking out the, let's say, the greater context, feel free to check out the last video. In this video, I just want to make sure we all understand where we stand because the price reacted here to resistance at 70.5 cents. Um, that was one of the key levels here, the 61 0.8 retracement level uh, here um, of the move to the downside okay so off the high to the low so this is the 61.8 fib level and for a corrective move and continuation to the downside this is a key resistance area a break above 80.4 cents will unlock something more bullish and would rather shift the odds towards the white wave count i'm already tracking the white wave count but we need to know that XRP likes to form only three wave structures. So I would not be surprised if this either breaks down or just simply forms a larger corrective structure. What we need for a high confidence setup is we need a five wave move to the upside. So I'm tracking if we can get five waves and how would five waves look like? Well, just follow the white count. Wave one done, wave two done, wave three. So this would now be potentially already the pullback in wave four, but I would not like to see a clear three wave structure. I guess in the next few days, we will know more. Support for this wave four would be between 56 cents and 62 cents. And then a continuation to the upside can um, happen. As long as the 56 cent level is holding, that is at least a reasonable prospect and expectation. And the wave five would be an ABC structure as well, because we're dealing with a diagonal structure, okay? It's not an impulse, at best a diagonal. Now, if the 56 cent level breaks, then certainly it would um, put the yellow wave count in control. It will not rule out something more bullish because a three wave move can always unfold in a larger three wave move, but we just don't have a reliable, a reliable setup then, okay? So that's what you need to understand. That's always the risk with XRP, because then this three wave move would just simply be the A wave we would get a B wave, which can go a little lower and then a five wave move up in C. And then you have a larger three wave move, which XRP loves to do. But there's no way of predicting that really. So at the moment, we're just watching. Can we get five waves up? If we get them, then we should get a three wave pullback that will generate a high probability setup. Even though I have to say if the move up is not an impulse, but only a diagonal, which this would be, it is already low con it is lower confidence okay so it's not like a let's call it a five star setup or something now let's establish where the wave three should end we talked about that in the last video but for everybody um, who's new so we're typically looking at the area between the 1.236 extension and the 1.618 for a third wave and a diagonal can always go a little higher um, and certainly um, reacted here to that 70 cent level okay so it's an if it wants to come down in wave four, this would be the ideal spot. Wave three can also extend higher, but it would only be a three wave move until we see a healthy and reliable corrective pullback in wave four. So what I'm starting to track, if we see a little bit more price action, is a pullback into this wave four support area, and it should unfold as an A, B, C structure, but we just now need to see a little bit, need to have a little bit of patience. A break above yesterday's high, which was exactly at yeah, 73 cents would, however, mean that the wave three is extending or the yellow X wave. So ultimately, let's get a little bit more price action here. We need a clearer structure. So far, I only have three waves down. Well, see, that could even be already wave A. a an A wave can be a three wave move. Then ideally, we see a little bit more of an extended B wave and then the C wave down. However, I have to say, because we never really broke below our micro support, yes, briefly, but there is no sustained break, which is at 66.6 cents. I cannot rule out a more direct extension higher at this stage. Um, I would need a break below that level, a sustained break to really um, yeah, suggest that the wave four has started. But um, yeah, I mean, correct trading a corrective wave, wave is anyway not really a good idea. So we wanna have a bit of, bit of patience. If the price gets into this region, that might be an opportunity. Um, but first of all, it, it needs to give us a little bit more, more data. Now, the fact that we haven't really moved away from micro support to the upside could suggest that indeed we are going to see this ABC structure where the, the B wave would be a corrective rally and then the C wave down. I guess we'll get some clarity about that in the next few days now that we have arrived in resistance. 
Um, yeah, that's my update about XRP. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.